The insane true story of Paul Vario's family. Organized crime has always been mysterious and interesting, and its people are often the focus of books, movies, and urban tales. Paul Frank Paul Ivario was one of these notable persons. He was a well-known American gangster and the leader of the notorious Vario crew for the Lucchese crime family. Paul Vario's life and crimes were nothing short of amazing, but this feared crime boss also had a family that was caught up in the web of his illegal activities. In today's video, let's delve into the insane true story of Paul Vario's family, exploring the rise of power, their criminal enterprises, and the fact that ultimately led to their downfall. Paul Frank Pauli Vario was a prominent figure in the American criminal underworld, known for his affiliation with the notorious Lucchese crime family. Born on July 10, 1914, in New York, Vario rose to power as the leader of the infamous Vario crew, cementing his influence for nearly three decades. Throughout his career as a criminal, Vario was responsible for the planning and execution of a variety of unlawful acts. However, he is best known for his participation in the daring Lufthansa heist that took place in 1978 at John F. Kennedy International Airport. Because of Vario's influence over the labor unions, his crew was able to rob cargoes at the airport with a reasonable amount of ease, which they attributed to the fact that police enforcement was kept at bay. Vario engaged in a variety of lawful business pursuits, such as running stores, bars, restaurants, and taxi services, in order to further disguise the illegal activities he was involved in. Because of this, he was able to keep up the appearance of legitimacy, while also managing a complex web of unlawful activity. Henry Hill Jr., who was Vario's closest friend, provides some of the background information that is featured in the movie Goodfellas, which was directed by Martin Charles Scorsese, and tells the story of the Lucchese crime family and its members. The movie also features some of the criminal activities that Vario was involved in during his lifetime. The reputation that was attributable to Vario was not limited to his affiliation with the Lucchese crime family. Rather, it was due to the fact that he was in command of the notorious Vario crew for an incredible stretch of nearly 30 years. His standing as a strong figure within the criminal underworld was cemented as a result of his election to this leadership post. His direction was responsible for the Vario crew's participation in a wide variety of unlawful endeavors, which included everything from armed robberies to underground gambling operations. During these three decades of power, Vario's influence and reputation expanded, and as a result, he became a person who was feared and revered by both allies and foes alike. It is a testament to his cunning and strategic abilities that he has been able to negotiate the perilous environment of organized crime while eluding law enforcement and still keep his position as leader for such a significant amount of time. The fact that Vario has been in command for such a long time reflects not only his leadership skills, but also the devotion and confidence that his crew members have in him. It was largely due to his ability to maintain the group's cohesiveness and cohesion under his leadership that they were able to achieve their common goals in their illegal enterprises. It is impossible to understate the impact that Vario and his crew had on the criminal environment during this time period. As a result, they left an indelible stamp on the history of organized crime in the United States. Paul Frank Paul Ivario sprang to fame as a notorious criminal after his involvement in the Lufthansa heist in 1978, which took place at John F. Kennedy International Airport, a key turning point in both Vario's criminal career and the annals of organized crime history was marked by this bold and precisely planned robbery. It was one of the greatest cash robberies in American history at the time of the robbery, which entailed the theft of millions of dollars in cash and valuables from the Lufthansa cargo port. The fact that Vario was involved in the planning and execution of such an audacious crime demonstrates both his strategic intelligence and his capacity to manage intricate criminal operations. The successful execution of the Lufthansa heist gained Vario and his team renown, as well as heightened scrutiny, catching the attention of law authorities as well as the general public. In spite of the enormous haul, a significant portion of the money that was stolen was never found, which contributed to the mystique of the heist and its mysterious mastermind, Paul Vario. It is widely believed that Vario's gang was able to successfully steal cargoes from the airport thanks, in large part, to his substantial influence over labor unions. This influence provided them with a one-of-a-kind advantage 
as well as a level of protection that made it possible for their illegal actions to continue virtually unnoticed. Because Vario was able to exert influence over key union members, he was able to assure that airport personnel would either ignore illegal activities that were taking place, or even actively participate in the facilitation of heists. The operation of the airport, particularly the handling of cargo and logistics, was greatly aided by the contributions of the various labor unions. Because Vario was in control of these unions, he was able to manage timetables, deflect attention away from illegal actions, and prevent any needless intrusion from the police. This agreement enshrouded the Vario crew in a cloak of immunity, protecting them from the scrutiny of law enforcement and enabling them to carry on their illicit activities with a certain degree of freedom from legal repercussions. The fact that Vario was able to use his influence over labor unions demonstrates the connectivity between organized crime and numerous legitimate enterprises during that time period. This interconnectedness highlights the difficulties that law enforcement agencies confront when attempting to combat such deeply entrenched criminal networks. Paul Frank, Paul Vario, deftly engaged in a wide variety of legal economic endeavors, such as the running of stores and restaurants, in order to conceal the unlawful operations that he was engaged in at the time. These businesses, which appeared to be respectable, were actually used as a cover to conceal his criminal organization's nefarious activities. Vario was able to successfully conceal his genuine goals from both law enforcement and the general public by entering intertwining actions that were lawful and those that were illicit. Running what would appear to be completely legitimate enterprises served as a cover for the huge quantities of money that were obtained through illegal means. It enabled Vario to clean money obtained illegally by making it appear as though the money came from genuine revenues made by his legal businesses. He was able to avoid suspicion and scrutiny from the relevant authorities by using this method of laundering money, which provided an additional layer of protection for his illegal actions. Additionally, the legitimate businesses were used as gathering places and centers for criminal collaborators. This provided Vario with the opportunity to hold clandestine conversations and plot malicious undertakings while maintaining the appearance of normal commercial operations. This skill highlighted Vario's ingenuity and ability to outsmart law enforcement while still maintaining his grip on the criminal underground. He was able to do this while also maintaining his control over the criminal underworld. The disclosures that Vario's associate, Henry Hill Jr. made, served as the impetus for the critically acclaimed director Martin Charles Scorsese to write the screenplay for the movie Goodfellas, bringing to life the inner workings of the legendary criminal underground. The movie offered a fascinating cinematic representation of the Lucchese crime family and and its network of collaborators. Henry Hill Jr., a former associate of the Vario crew, who later became an informant, provided cops with extensive information regarding the criminal activities, alliances, and personalities that are associated with the Lucchese crime family. His eyewitness story provided readers with a view into the high-stakes world of organized crime, and audiences were captivated by its gritty and realistic representation of the underworld. In the compelling film Goodfellas, Martin Scorsese ex expertly portrayed the allure and savagery of the Mafia, portraying the rise and fall of its protagonists within a narrative that had the audience on the edge of their seats. The film was met with universal praise for its storytelling, direction, and performances. It immortalized the criminal history of Paul Vario and his cohorts, leaving an indelible stamp on the field of crime cinema. That's all for the video. We will be right back. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.